Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the function k density, l poly, and l poly ci plot types in its data. Let us prepare our data set. This is the data set that we are going to use in this tutorial. And the first plot type is about the function. We can draw the graph of the function. So the first one is about log x, we are going to use draw dot y equals to log x, graph of y equals to log x. The second is 10x to the power 5. And the third one is about function of y equals to 1 by x. And we can also combine the function. So we are going to combine the function of log x, 10x square, and log 1 by x. We get this result. These are the common options that we can use with the function. So range and range, the range of the variable, and the number of points to evaluate, drop lines, base, horizontal, Y format, and X format, C line options, connected line options, access options, and two-way options. And let us explore some of them. So it does not matter whether we mention this Y or not. So here we are mentioning y equals to sine x into 10x and in the next case we are not going to mention y and yet we are going to get the same result now let us draw a circle an example so this first function is going to add the upper part of the circle and the second function is going to add the lower part of the circle and we are going to combine them together to get this result we are going to draw a circle of y square plus x squared is equal to 144 and another example we are going to take the range of the variable so range so income variable so this will be plotted till the range of income variable and the range of income variable is 0 to somewhere between 5000 0 to 5000 so the domain is the range of income similarly let us plot another graph here the, again the range of income and it is between 0 to 5000 now let us draw the normal density plus actually we can draw the probability density functions random number functions and mathematical functions using this function option and we are going to first of all draw our normal density plot and then we are going to recast the normal density plot of this range minus 4 to minus 1.96 by spike and plus 1.96 to 4 by another spike and to get the this level of significance 2.5 and 2.5 this is a simple one and this shaded region with different color we have recasted it is a spike so these are the spikes now let us uh, mention the number of points to evaluate so we are going to evaluate it five points so the function is x square and we will see the five points five points and the next one we are going to evaluate it 500 points so this time we are going to get a very fine graph this is so this is the left side it is evaluated at five points and the, on the right side it is the same function is evaluated at 300 points and let us make use of drop lines so drop lines it is going to project the lines from the specified range on the x-axis so we have a specified drop lines from minus 1000 to 1000 so at this interval let us use the base base and drop line now the base the drop lines will be projected till till this base of 250,000 so this is the base so from this specified range minus 1000 to 1000 the lines are dropped at an interval of 100 so till this base base of 250000 and let us combine them together and we will this will be clear again similarly we can change the format of the levels of the axis that we have specified so we are going to specify the y value format to be the date and date and the x value for me to be month so this is again clear by this depiction x axis in the month represented in the month and y axis is represented in the date format 
so this is about our function now let us move to another plot types it is kernel density plots so kernel density plots are both the two-way plot type and command the first one is command and we get this node in case of command and we are going to draw the same plot of the same variable by using two-way plot type and we don't see this node so this is the difference rest the properties are similar now we are going to for the two-way plot types of kernel where we have these options to explore so b width is the bandwidth is moving parameters kernel we can choose from these kernels and a range these are the domains and we can use the range of the variables and number of points to evaluate area horizontal this is the connected line options look and feel of the connected lines access choice options and two-way options and let us explore some of them so this is the histogram and kernel key density of income and let us explore or manipulate the b width or smoothing parameter we are taking from 0 to 400 at the interval of 50 and let us combine them together and see it for ourselves what does it look like the smoothing parameter it changes 100 So from for different bandwidths, so these are the graphs, so all the way to 400. And let us drop them all and quickly move to another options that we can manipulate. So we can manipulate different kernels. So these are the kernels that we can choose from. And let us run a loop. The default one is dependent Tinicop. And let us combine them together and see it for ourselves. Epanagenicob, and others options. Now let us drop them all and move to another option range. Actually, this is the domain. So we get the graph from this kernel density up to this point. So we're up to the range of 1000 and 4000, which is epidian by this graph. And we can take the range of the variable edge well. So the range we are specifying the range of import to draw the kernel and let us see so the range of import is from 0 to 4000 and we get the kernel up to that point and the number of points to evaluate here we are specifying 9 so we should get 9 vertices actually so this is again simple similarly we can manipulate the area we will run the loop from 1 to 6 and we will combine them together area 1 2 3 and so on The area is one double twice four five and six this is self-explanatory now let us drop all of the graphs and let us move to another plot type this is local polynomial smooth plot and so it is l poly so let us we have already dealt about the smoothing plot types in video number 13 please refer to that and let us see what does it look like so this red one the color red this line it is a local polynomial smoothing plot so our variables are income and expenditure so these are the connected points or the scatter graph and its local polynomial smoothing plot is represented by the red one and we have these options to explore kernel or we can use it this kernel bandwidth degree and, and so these are the points to evaluate it and C lines so the look and feel of this line access twice options and two-way options now let us manipulate the degrees so that this is the degrees of the polynomials used for smoothing and we are using from degree 0 to 5 and let us combine them together and see it for ourselves so from 0 to 6 fifth degree these are the degrees used for is for a smoothing now let us drop them all and move to another plot time this is related with confidence interval again please refer to video number 
protein for explanation of the confidence interval we can manipulate the heat line area and confidence interval and we have used that so here the, this is the l poly confidence interval of incoming export so we get this confidence interval and the, this is the connected plot of income on export and these are the options that we have already seen in our video number 14 for manipulating the confidence interval now let us see an example so this portion this will manipulate the c line connected the lines and this portion will manipulate the area and let us look at it and combine them together So this is the result now let us drop all of the graphs that are in the memory and see some of the other plots that we can use so the first one is dot plot of export and import and income so this is a beautiful graph so export import and income the another one is a spike plot of export so this is a spike plot and the standard error bar of export income and import first 30 observations so this is the result and this is the cumulative spectral distribution plot of gender and income so this is the result and this is the graph of mean by province so these are the mean of the province east north and west and this is the overall mean and let us use the letter of export this is another plot type so letter of export we get this result and here this transformation will be used if we use g letter so we get the histograms of these transformations of the export and it will take some time so cubic square identity square root log inverse square root and so on and let us use the Q ladder of export again, so different functional forms. And let us drop all the graphs that are in the memory and let us draw the steam plot of export. First 30 observation. So this is the steam and the leaf. This is also very useful to get a glimpse of the distribution of the graphs or data distribution of the data so this is it for this tutorial it's a time to thank you all for your precious time thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody